Hey, what's up? Yes, I got another piercing. I decided to get a rook piercing. I initially wanted a full rook and a full rook would have been through this part. So not actually through this, but through this. And because I wear glasses, I wasn't quite sure if the placement would work or if the bar would push against my glasses. And because I'm in China, I cannot actually communicate with my Piazza, meaning I cannot talk to her at all. And so I decided against it because getting a full rook piercing would have actually required me to have a proper conversation with my Piazza, which I can't really have here. So that's that. I ended up getting a rook piercing and I freaking love it. This is the piercing that I got. I'm obviously not gonna touch it because I just got it pierced yesterday. She pierced it with a fairly long bar that allows for heaps of swelling. So even if my rook piercing goes crazy, I know that I'm gonna be fine. And because of the area that a rook piercing sits at, you, you won't have any issues with a longer bar because the potential of snagging it is, well, fairly low. And of course, you should never ever rotate, touch, or move a freshly pierced piercing in any way whatsoever. That's why I'm only pointing to it and not actually touching it. In terms of pain, it was actually not as painful as I expected it to be. I got my conch piercing sometime last year and I was thinking it's probably going to be similar. And it kind of was similar. It was a different kind of pain. There was just a lot more pressure in this area because it is quite a small area that you get pierced at. And so there was a lot of pressure, then it was a sharp pain. That was it, really. It took less than a minute and then it was all over. She put the jewelry in, cleaned it, and it was all good. Initially, I wanted a faux rook because I just really like the look of a faux rook. Because I like the fact that with a faux rook, you really only have a ball here and you don't have a ball here. And I'm hoping that when it's healed, I'll be able to change it and I will be able to get that same look, although it's a real rook piercing out of full one. And even if it doesn't work out, I'm so happy with it because I've got space here and then I would just get the full rook here, provided of course that I can get it with my glasses and that it's fine with my anatomy because I'm actually not quite sure I would need to check with a PSA that I can actually talk to whether a full rook would work out or not. Now immediately after I got my rook piercing I actually felt quite good. I didn't feel any pain and I also didn't feel like fainting because sometimes when I get pierced I feel very dizzy afterwards. This time around though I had lunch right before I got pierced which usually isn't the case which was very good. And I always also make sure that I have snacks with me whenever I get pierced. Usually the minute after I get pierced, I have an apple or a granola bar. A little something really to boost my energy and to prevent me from fainting. A couple hours after I got it done though, I could really feel it swelling up. It was throbbing a bit and it was just a tiny, tiny bit painful. And now it's the second day and I can sometimes feel it, I can sometimes feel the swelling if that makes sense, I can feel it throbbing a bit. However, it's nothing crazy. My conch piercing hurt for almost a full week after getting it pierced. It was really painful, it was throbbing, it was just really uncomfortable. So far though, it's actually been fine and I'm very glad that it isn't as painful as my conch piercing was the first few days after I got it pierced. It's also worth noting that this area around my ear, so this part, I'm gonna touch it real quick, this part, I'm not touching the piercing, just this part around my ear, this area is actually quite sensitive to the touch, so I avoid touching it. You can just feel that the area around the piercing is swollen and that also this part of the ear is just a little tender to the touch. That really is it though, I just had water run over it and it actually wasn't painful at all. I used saline solution spray twice a day for probably a week and then that's it. Then it's just water in the shower. I'm really glad that I got it and although I wasn't fond of the two ball look at the beginning, I'm actually starting to like it and I'm not thinking that I might just get a curved barbell and I may not even attempt to make it look like a full look. I'm not sure. 
I'm just saying that I'm starting to like the look of this. Of course, I can't wait to change it to a shorter bar because all things considered, the bar is fairly long. But again, good for healing purposes. What else is there to say? Oh yes, a big shout out to the subreddit called Piercing. I freaking love the community in this subreddit. I've gotten great advice, really good guidance, and I just really appreciate this online community. So if you have any questions about piercings or would need tips on placement, just follow the subreddit. You won't regret it. It's a really great community of people that are just really into piercings. That is it for me. I won't be getting any more piercings anytime soon because I want the current ones to heal. Just real quick, wood is still healing. My conch piercing is still healing. My upper lobe piercings are still healing. Of course, my helix piercing is still healing. And now my rook piercing is still healing. I want those to be fully healed first before I would get another piercing. At least my lobe piercings I want to be fully healed. And my conch piercing. I'm gonna say that. If those are still healing, I probably would consider getting another piercing. But I just want a couple of them to be fully healed, really. And in terms of healing time, I've read that it can take a year, I've read that it can take a year and a half. It's of course hugely dependent on how good you care for it and on how your body generally heals piercings. I'm hoping that it's gonna take a year and not a year and a half. Uh, that being said, I have patience. I will just change out the jewelry whenever it's ready. And that being said, I won't attempt to do this myself. I will check in with a reputable piercer and when he or she gives me the okay, only then will I have him or her change the jewelry. Anyway, that's that. Let me know if you are thinking of getting a rock piercing or if you have one and if you've got any tips for me. I would love to hear from you. As always, have a lovely day and see you next time. Oh, and quick disclaimer, of course I'm not an expert. I'm really just sharing my experience. And I hope you found it useful. Have a lovely day and see you next time.